guys, it's Richard, aka Red Death on Yoda Tech. I just wanted to share a couple of things with you guys that I did this past week. Uh, my super bright LED order came in today, and I uh, got some lights for my inclinometer to match my odometer. So, so you can see they're the same color as these. Anyway, so that's one thing I did. <clears throat> Next is the bumper, the main thing that I had been working on for the past couple weeks. We had to add this little bump stop here because the whole tire swing kept on swinging out into the street and as a safety feature um, for when I'm on the highway or freeway, you know, we added this on here so it doesn't swing out. Um, yeah, anyways, let me show you the bumper first. So, this is it. These cars fading by. Jackass. Anyways, this is the bumper. I got the design. I kind of copied the design mostly from the Relentless off-road bumper for the Tacomas. Um, here's the jerry can lock that I did. And this thing just opens up like a lid. Takes out, take out your jerry can and I... Uh, made two holes there. Thanks for reminding me to do that, William. Um, or Dragon, I mean. This this whole plate here is kind of slanted, so when it does rain, the water accumulates in these two corners. Um, so I drilled them in there, so it drains out. And um, really, this thing's pretty secure. I mean, unless they thieves decide to take a lock cutters or something to it but uh all they have to do is just knock on the can and they'll know there's absolutely nothing in there so hopefully i don't have that problem anytime soon um here's the temporary lights that i'm going to be using on my license plate that's perfectly bright i mean it's, it's it's it'll be enough for the nighttime that's for sure it's two lights they're pet boy lights i think i got them for 349 each um also have a lock on this one here. Let's see, but it joins the two pieces together. Yeah. So let's go to the swing out part. This goes down. Push on this. Goes up. Pull out. And voila! It opens up. You can see, I ran the cables from behind that license plate through the hole of the of this uh, tire carrier plate. Ran. I mean, uh, covered it up with some uh, plastic wrap and uh, shrink wrap, zip tied it down all the way down under the truck. And if you're curious to see where exactly I sent it to, uh, it's kind of on the dark side, but you can see there that goes into the inside panel of your truck where your uh, jack goes. So that's where I mounted it. Um, this is pretty cool too. You have a little. Uh, little nipple here to uh, grease the, the spindle on the tire carrier as well. Uh, if you're curious to know how exactly this thing works, it just disconnects like that. And this is actually to a uh, trailer hitch for um, from our O'Reilly's. You know, I figured it's it's only two, two contacts here, so I figured why not use it for a positive and negative um, current. And... Um, see here let's just take off my lock so you can see how it comes out so there's that this thing just slides out let's pull this out of the hole there it goes and there you go there's the hole I sent it to so it all comes out you want to put it back in you just slide it into the same hole slide this wire into that hole on the plate. That goes in. Put your lock back on so that these stay away from your plate and your tire. That holds it in place. And uh, make sure you connect it. Alright, drive it. <laughs> it's still good. 
love these heavy duty cases. Sorry, I couldn't show that right there, but there it is connected already. And it is waterproof and it is rust proof or corrosion proof, waterproof, you name it, it is. Um, I ended up tapping into the wires for this red light here. For this, uh, what do you call it? You know, for, to turn on the lights when the lights come on. I tried hooking them up to the tail lights here on the tailgate, but, uh, I ran into problems as you've read on my thread on Yoda Tech, so I won't be using those anymore. I just connected it directly to this red light and it seems to be working. Nothing, I don't have any problems at all. And if you want to know what the clearance is with this tailgate, let's open this up. So, that's enough right there. This is where the bump stop allows it to go. So, you can see there. It's not too bad it's slightly at an angle outward of the tailgate so it's just enough and um, if you're out on a hill like I am right now it'll just lean up against the tailgate there so that's perfect mark or chef Yoda thank you for telling me to get these I have noticed the difference this is a bike inner tube and it really does quiet down the the jiggle in the back when I'm driving I did this one about three three or four days ago. This is pretty nice. Um, let's close this. You wanna go when you wanna close this up here, this is where it'll attach to. And actually that is the rubber spray from Rostolian. Um, so let's push this up. You go there. You push this up and it's locked. That's it. Um, originally, I had the strip running along this piece here. But when I didn't think it worked, I removed it and before I knowing what the problem was, of course. But um, if you've seen on the pictures on my thread, you'll see how freaking bright this thing is. It's ridiculous. And uh, check it out. Well, well, it's daylight, and look at how bright it is. I mean, it's crazy bright. So um, until I find out a way on how to dim these, this uh, LED strip, I'm gonna be using the other license plates, license plate lights. Um, I could either use uh, some sort of, um, what do you call that thing, uh, a resistor to limit the amount of power that goes through. Um, and maybe that might work. If not, I might use some uh, tint like window tint or something like that and just glue this or another thing I could do is use a like a some sort of like a tinted glue almost and just run that along these LEDs here and um, hopefully that will you know darken this a little bit so when the thing does turn on it won't be so bright and, uh, and then I'll just run this back over there this is a 12 inch 12 inch LED strip and uh, you see there I mean it's, it's exact I mean I made this whole lip here specifically for this so you know I'm really hoping I'm, I'll be able to get it to work I, it still has a little bracket so I can mount it there still and um, I'm really looking forward to having this on there because I really don't like those lights not that it looks bad or anything it's just I mean, I bought the LED strip from Super Bright LEDs, you know, on purpose. So, specifically, cause that's what I wanted. So, you know, but uh, let me show you what it looks like just with the uh, plain old Pet Boys lights that I have right now. It's not bad. I mean, who knows? Maybe I might just leave it there and use this one as a hood light. Uh, what do you call it? The engine bay light or something? I don't know. But. I think it looks much cleaner having this one on the license plate. So that's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Very informative, I guess. And um, thanks for all your opinions on the uh, on the light light problem I was having. But uh, <laughs> that was my fault. I ended up uh, having bad ground. So thanks, anyways, guys. Bye.